Hello, Peter Fruin here from St Jenna's Turf and Landscape Team. We're here at the magnificent Kew Golf Club to chat with the club's golf course superintendent, Cameron Hall. Today's walk and talk is part of Syngenta's Turfectionist series, and we're here to congratulate the club on their success in winning the ASMA 2020 Claude Crockett Environmental Award. Welcome, Cam. Thanks, Peter. Welcome to Kerry. Thank you very much. Tell me a little bit about the club history. So the club is 126 years old. We're the third oldest club in Melbourne, and we've been on this site as a whole since the late 70s, since the Eastern Freeway was developed. So in about 2012, the club undertook major works here to reinvigorate the golf course before my time in regards to the playing surfaces and we finished that in 2018 and from there we decided our next focus had to be on improving the outer play areas of the golf course. It plays such an importance on environmental stewardship and ownership of the site that we decided to bring a lot of out of play areas back to native vegetation, remnant vegetation of what it was like before the golf course was here and if from there we decided why not nominate for an award. The vegetation work we're doing out here we're bringing a lot more back to the site, we're getting a lot more animal life back in here, wildlife back in here, and doing a lot more good for the environment than bad. Thank you very much, Cam. We look forward to getting out on the golf course and having a look at the work that you've been doing. Look forward to showing you the site. Cam, we're out here on four. This is one of the more established revegetation areas. Tell me all about it, how it was established, um, and what processes you went through to actually get this to, to look like it does today. So this peat was the first area we actually undertook four years ago and the discussion was it's so far out of play why don't we try and do something different to fit in with the native environment especially when you look over the fence and this is the Friends of the Burke Road Billabong who's right next to us. We put through here two and a half thousand plants from here right through to the fifth tee and I'd say now we've probably got another 50 to 60 percent natural regrowth which is just regenerating every season which is really filling the whole area in. Cam, we're here at Simpson's Lagoon. Um, tell us a bit about it. So this is our main water storage peak. This water comes straight out of the Yarra River through an underground pump system. And then from there it goes out through our irrigation pumps under the golf course. It holds 45 megalitres of water. That's quite a solid water source for us in storage. And also it's quite significant because it actually is one of the only places in Melbourne where a lot of native birds actually do their nesting. Here we are adjacent to the seventh green in the Yarra. Tell us some of the good and the bad you have to deal with on an annual basis having to deal with the Yarra as a neighbour. Probably the main thing Pete, we have to deal with the river is the flows and fluctuations of river depths which really tells us when we can and can't harvest water. So I've got certain river restrictions when we can and can't so especially in summer it really does restrict us on how much we can actually take out from our 196 megalitres per year. It is purely based on flow with maximums per day. So the maximum per day we can harvest when there's no restrictions is just under three megalitres, and that's it when they're during the middle of winter. Probably for our major aspect is there a reduction in mowing out of play areas. We've already dropped about three hectares in out of play mowing and turned that just into native vegetation and just letting us spend more time on the plain surfaces as a well. whole. In our part of our vegetation management plan, we've actually got a tree permit with the Burundara Council and every year we've got to send through a report stating how many trees have been removed and where we've replanted. We've got to replant five to one for the trees and we've actually got to map that and show them where they've been planted. So everything is sourced from a nursery just two or three k's down the road at Yarra Bend Nursery. So everything is grown locally and everything we actually plant here is sourced from on the Yarra. So this tree, Pete, is actually a National Trust registered tree. It's the, called the Hoddle tree. And this tree was used by Robert Hoddle when he surveyed and gridded the suburb of Kew back in the 1800s. It's been registered and estimated to be over 300 years old, so it's actually a very significant tree for the city of Melbourne and the area of Melbourne. We have, we're currently undertaking a program with one of the AFL clubs to work with disadvantaged kids who have finished high school or haven't reached that stage where to get them into employment and give them trials and that aspect, so that could be quite exciting moving forward. Probably the thing I'm most proud of is the membership's response to what we've done over the last five years. So supportive and the feedback in what we've done and the improvements we've made has been amazing. And just, yeah, the response to them has been brilliant. And we've really got an ambition and a passion to make it the permanent golf course off the sand belt in Melbourne. Thanks very much for your time, Cam, and, you, and your answers. Um, it's been a wonderful experience to come to a great site like this. It's such an oasis in the city. 